Emiga. And we're Alfred Emiga. This is Alfred Emiga's unboxing Geek Film Edition. Hey yo! So, welcome back to Luke Corner. And we've got our inaugural Geek Fuel box. And we did it last month, but uh, because we'd gotten it late, it was like really late. two weeks late, so we figured we'd just wait and get you the new one. Yeah. Yeah. So now, Geek Fuel does not, not do. Does not do uh, themes. I don't believe it, unless I'm just missing something, which is, uh, sometimes I do, but I didn't see anything about themes on there. Yeah, yeah, I'm alright with that. Wait, you did the scissors. Oh man. Oh, I kid. I did poke myself there. I'm incompetent. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, oh my god, it, man. He's continuing to oh my god. Oh, oh, oh. What, That's what you get for not following the natural order. The rule of law. Come on, here we go. There you are, Major. Thank you. He makes it look so easy. So easy! <laughs> Alright. My tape was defective. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ready? I am ready. <laughs> so what I really love about the Geek Fuel is the little wrapper thing. I know we're so small in something they like... They used to do that with the DX on loop tape, but then but they, they stopped. stopped. Oh, yeah. As did we. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Oh, yeah, pretty cool. Oh, okay. So what do we have in here? First up on top, we've got the Geek Your Magazine. Yeah, which I hope oh. this isn't. A, I hope this doesn't mean much. They've got the uh, Power Rangers Power on Rangers. there. Power Rangers. I'll be going to see that this weekend. Oh. Got a little thing about apparently got Paxton in here. And uh, oh, oh, yeah. stuff. Alright, we'll take a look at that. Let's get into the... Get in a moment, yeah. Alright, let's crack into the actual goodies. Magical Elixir Lamp. Well, that sounds interesting. So, if you watch all of the videos, you know that we're not usually fans of household items. A lamp is a I little don't... bit different than, like, a, um, you know, like, kitchen. To be clear, I just don't like kitchen and bathroom stuff. Well, yeah. Like, yeah. you know, decor is, you know... Yeah, like, I don't mind posters and stuff like that. So apparently it turns into eight different, uh, eight different, eight different colors, colors there. Yeah, the oh, LED sweet. light rotates. Every potion you'll ever need. Yeah. Health. Red is health. Orange is accuracy. Yellow is protection. Green is stamina. Uh, is that kind of an aqua, teal? What would you describe that? I would, I would go with... Teal is fine. Teal for immunity, blue for speed. This is not a toy. Blue for mana and purple for strength. No, yeah, definitely it not. Does, a toy. It's battery powered. Those little batteries, which are included, thankfully. Thankfully. Alright, here. Very cohesive foam. Now the battery's pre installed. And I don't know. You looked at the instructions. I did, that's true. Oh, I believe they are. It's got one of those remove plastic. Alright. And. Oh, so it's just oh, a it base. Is, it, and it cycles. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. I really like that. That is pretty cool, right there. That is actually very neat, right? It doesn't sit on there very securely, so you definitely want to make sure you're going to put it in a place where you're not going to bump it. You don't want your potion spewing everywhere. No, definitely not. Really that could be dangerous. You might need that for battle. What did you say? That was? Oh, yeah, one of these. Yeah, one of those. Pull the plastic out, preserves the battery life, all that good stuff. Mumbo Jumbo, Wango Tango, Heebie Jeebies, what have you. See, I didn't even need to read the instructions. No, I wish you could do it on a non-cycle mode though, that'd be nice. That Let's would see. be, maybe the, the instructions tell you how to do it. But I don't know what it would be since it's just a no. switch to one side. LED light will change automatically, turn switch to off and the light will start working. So they I'm also do pins. Yeah, but they put them on on card, and they they apparently they're like always tank themes, like their little um, like their oh, little really? uh, guy here. Apparently, because the last one we got was Stranger Things, and it was like toothless, and he had little tank treads, like their yeah. little geek so, fuel guy there. Right. And then now this month, the Power oh, Rangers. You got, oh, we got different ones. Yeah. That's I got, neat. I got the one I would have preferred. 
Fuel. Red Ranger. Red Ranger, and I got the Yellow Ranger, Trini. Oh, excuse me, Yellow Rover. I actually would have preferred the Green Rover. That would have been pretty cool. Black Rover looks pretty cool as well. But, yeah. Hmm. Her weapon is Rover Daggers. I won't believe we've got a Guardians of the Galaxy t-shirt. Guardians of the Galaxy t-shirt. Well, I think I see, I think I see Rocket there. Oh, yeah. yeah I think, is that Rocket and Groot? I believe that is Rocket, yeah, Rocket and, and Groot. Groot in a very awkward position. Rocket, oh. Groot, and Rocket. Well, that's bizarre. <laughs> kind of. So, so it's like a negative Rocket. space Rocket, Groot. I believe. And then Rocket. <laughs> well, once again, I believe this is the same color as the shirt we got from from uh, Loot Crate. Because it's slightly darker than our the Triumvirate Studios Duke shirts. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. cool. I but I like that. That's a good tea. Yeah, 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 yeah. Very cool trying to yeah. make out the, the negative space up. Sometimes it throws me off. <laughs> okay, so we've got... Uh, So every Geek Fuel, if you weren't aware, comes with a free game download from Steam. Starwood Rogue. Starwood Rogue. Yeah. Never heard of it. Mm -hmm. No. Looks to be a... Like uh, a space invader? Some sort of space thing? plane shooting game. I don't know that we... Oh, $12 value. Ooh. Yeah, I don't know. Might maybe. check it out. Maybe not. Might give it away for someone who comments. You never know. Yeah. And this is just a yeah. art print, Guardians art print, of the Galaxy, with a certificate of authenticity. They like including certificate of authenticities with their posters and prints yeah. and whatnot, apparently. So, I, I I like this actually. It's actually pretty cool. Yeah, pop art sort of style, you know, the bright colours. Got their ship. You got yeah. the main character who I uh, suddenly forget what his name Star -Lord? is. Star Lord. How can you forget? Well, you know, I guess that was something Pete he Quill. struggled with in the movie as well. Like, oh, Star Lord, who? <sighs> Whatever. Yes, is that is that a planet or is that a face of oh, like a villain? It's a face. It's a face. It looks sort of like a planet as well, or like you know, some sort of it does. asteroid, something or other. I don't know. <laughs> Inverse universe. Space Sentinels grow again. Just when you thought your favorite anthropomorphic tree was on his way out, he sprouts again with renewed vim and vigor. Helping along the way is his ever-present trash panda. Torpedo? What? Trash panda companion. And together, they're ready to make sure the galaxy is safe enough for even the sweetest of soldiers. Uh, is, is trash panda another, another word for raccoon? Another, like a slang. Might be. I don't know, never heard of it. Black ones kind of look like, oh, okay, like yeah, red bands. Notice it first. So, so we've got, it's it's duality sort of, I don't know if that's the right word. So we've got Groot standing up and he's got Rocket on his shoulder. And then we've got Rocket standing up and he's got oh, the little, little Groot on his shoulder. I didn't even notice the little Groot when I was looking at it that earlier. Yeah. 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 In this universe. Cool. Oh yeah, there we go. That's, I guess that's what yeah. that means. Yeah. Sweet, that's pretty neat. I was looking for little Groot. I was staring there for a moment. I was trying to see if there was another little Groot on there. Um, that was pretty cool. Yeah. All right, there's... So the magazine. The, oh, the magazine, I'm actually, I'm like very impressed with the quality. I mean, they actually have oh. articles and stuff in here. Yeah. They tell you how to make uh, waffles from the upside down. Waffles from the upside down? Yeah. <gasps> oh, my lanta. That's awesome. Power Rangers article, uh, uh, Starwood Rogue uh, Power thing, Rangers. Or other. Little Games Corner thing where it talks about games. Mm, yeah, well, I think it's kind of neat is they've got this uh, Ultimate Geek Gift Guide here. Mm. It gives all kinds of cool little things. Now, I mean, you would have to have a pretty penny in your pocket to be able to give this $70,000 racing simulator uh, uh, as a gift. CXC Motion Pro 2 Racing Simulator. It's got three massive monitors. Uh, it looks like some sort of camera thing, and there may be a speaker in the front, and then motion simulating chair. Yeah, man. 
I mean, that would be quite an experience. Quite, yeah, yeah. Hmm. yeah. Sheath or Legend of Zelda chess set. It's all pretty cool. I believe she's just Thor. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. Why would they read? Oh, that's strange. Kind of neat stuff in here. And they've got a oh, Doctor Who thirteen Doctor is looks like a chick. chick. Yeah. Yeah, well, nothing is set in stone. There's a rumor swirling around the phone booth. The next doctor might be female. Oh, oh might be of the female persuasion. Uh, we sure hope it's true. And this is a shirt to show our support. Isn't that exciting? Tilda Swinton is the name you're looking for. No, isn't. Oh. Isn't. What? Wasn't. I mean, haven't there's, there's only been a 13th doctor, hasn't there? So, I mean, 10 was like 10 and 11. Yeah, they and then and Matt Smith Matt was, 12, was twelve technically. Yeah, Capaldi is, is the third keep up. So, Yeah, because so yeah. so here's the thing. He's actually isn't he the fourteenth Doctor? Because the ninth Doctor is really the tenth Doctor, and then if Tennant actually went through two regenerations, he would be the eleventh and twelfth. Matt Sp Smith would be the thirteenth Doctor, and Capaldi would be the fourteenth Doctor. Right, yeah, I think you're right. So yeah, yeah this should be 15th. Which <laughs> totally, you know, runs aground the whole notion of why he needed the next set of regenerations, you know, and from all that and, right. and whatnot. But, um, right, right. you know, don't get bogged down. But yeah, yeah so rumor has it that uh, Tilda Swinton might take it on. Yeah, she was a favourite, but you know. the, new, uh, the new showrunner, uh, you know, he, he says he's going to handle it in a traditional route. That they're going to write it. And then they're going to figure out who fits the characterization best after the fact. Which I think is, you know... I don't not, know how that's a traditional way. Of I guess what it is. Like, it's an old school they... way. Like, I don't know. I mean, I think, I think, I mean, more, I think it was a more modern age where they more envision a person for a character and then design the character around the actor. I don't. I see. Uh, so, so you're telling me that Tom Baker's Doctor wasn't written for Tom Baker? That seems like a ridiculous well, notion. Well, I don't know. I mean, I don't really know. But again... Then again, I mean, isn't that what actors do? Don't they take a script and then act to it? Like, yeah, but I mean, there are definitely like some actors who basically just play themselves. Well, right, but why would you want them as the Doctor? The right. Doctor's supposed to be a strange and, you know, yeah. out there sort of figure. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. All right, so now, of all this stuff, um, I think I like it all. Yeah, it's all very cool. Uh, I mean, I really like this little LED yeah, this, thing. This, pretty... this is pretty really nifty. I really like yeah. the, the lamp. And uh, I, I usually don't necessarily care for the art press, but I, I actually really like that art press. Yeah, and that then uh, the t-shirt I like. I definitely like the t-shirt. The rocket, and then, eh, you know, the pen is the pen. Eh, you know, whatever. Um, Apparently there was a variant of the actual art print where it was like galactic green variant. We didn't get that, but cool we got different pins in there that's pretty neat one two not very many items really overall i mean we've got the game the t-shirt the print it's more items than we've got in loot crate loot crate gave us three items you know we've got the you got the t-shirt we got the uh we got the the jurassic world pin uh, uh sign we got the predator Bottle opener and um, the Wolverine. Oh, yeah, four. So I mean, it's still four. Oh, right, four. four. I, I mean, just as being one of the items, like I'm okay with having a free game in there. Yeah, but that's one, nifty. One of the items, like I mean, mm, I don't know. I'll probably never play it, but it's still. I mean. Yeah, if, if anyone ideas. wants wants one of our steam codes, because we definitely don't need two of them. Definitely um, don't need two. If anyone wants our steam code, just mention it in the comments, and we'll uh, we'll hook up with you on the private message system that uh, YouTube is. If there are multiple uh, people interested, you'll have to battle it out in the arena. Yeah. Well, I just say first come first serve. Uh... Well, I'll take to the victor goes to spoils, but I guess we'll go with him because you know first come, first idea. I guess you know whatever works for me. So yeah, make right. sure you let us know what you think. Uh, so who do you think won this month? Who do you think won this month? So and uh, my vote. If you've not watched, go back and watch our loot crate video. Compare loot crate to Geek Fuel. Same monthly cost approximately. Here. Primal was the theme. This Primal month was the crate. theme. Uh, you know, 
I'm gonna have to go with Loot Crate myself on this one. You I are. like the shirt, I like the little Logan uh, feet, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I like... Not me. More, I yeah. would definitely go with the Geek Fuel. I really like this. I like the art print and uh, I like the t-shirt much better. Because mm. I've never played Overwatch. I've never played Overwatch either, but I do, I do. I just like it. And, I just, uh, yeah, no. I would go with this. With these type of shirts, yeah, like, they don't hold up in the wash very well. Like, we have the, um... The, the Warcraft movie one from Loot Crate, and it's just like one, two washes, and it's like totally like faded well, it's out. It's the same type of shirt they were wearing. Yeah, no, uh, yeah, but I mean, I don't know. Yeah. I just don't really. Um, it's, it's, I don't it's like silk it. Silk screened. Yeah. So you don't like silk screen t shirts? They're okay. What would you prefer? Dye sublimation? It's, it's just not going to last very well. You know, a few washes and it's going to fade and it's not going to look nearly as good. And I just. There's one solution. I just really don't like the colors. Blues. I don't really like the brown. Oh, you don't like the brown and the orange? The brown and the orange. I'm not a huge orange and brown fan. I don't mind it. But, you know, to each their own. Yep. This is very cool. Split That's decision on the month. Split decision. So, yeah. All right. Well, until next time. That's this time. For Alpha, I'm Amigar. Ayo! Hey,